Hi folks, this is Andy and welcome to my first Blender 2.63 tutorial. Uh, you just go ahead and left click to get rid of this splash screen. And here is the default scene. You've got a cube, you've got a camera, and I right clicked to highlight that and select it. And you right click over here and you've got a light or a lamp. This crosshair thing is actually the cursor and I don't know why they don't start it right in the middle of the 3D space, but in order to get it there, you just press Shift-C, and the cursor now is right in the center of the 3D space. So we're going to right-click on the cube again to select it. And we're going to make sure that the cube is right in the center of our scene here, so we press period on the numpad. Now, it's very important that you remember the numpad, because the numpad is one of the most important ways of navigating in Blender. If you don't have a numpad, I would suggest that you go out and buy a cheap keyboard that has one because it's almost necessary and it's what I'm going to be teaching. Now, there are some simple things like orbiting. In order to orbit this cube, you click the middle mouse button or the scroll wheel, whichever one you have, and you can orbit all around it in 3D space. If you want to pan, or also known as translate in Blender, you press shift and you can pan up, down, left, right. But that's about all you use the mouse for. Also, if you want to zoom in and out, you can zoom in and out with the scroll wheel of the mouse. But just about everything else I'm going to be showing you is going to be on the numpad. So we'll center this again. On the numpad, if you wanted to zoom out, you would press minus and it would be in incremental steps like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete this object because this cube's pretty boring. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to add mesh monkey. Uh, this is sort of Blender's avatar. Uh, a lot of people when they do tests in Blender they use the monkey. I think it's called Suzanne. So let's say I want to look at the front of this monkey and see its face. You go into your numpad and you press 1. And you'll notice that the grid is gone. If I want to see that grid and I want this to be a little bit less distorted, you press 5 on the numpad and that's an orthographic perspective. Uh, and this is orthographic view 5, this is perspective view. Orthographic perspective. And you just press 5 on the numpad to switch back and forth. Now, if you want to see the monkey Suzanne from the side, you press 3. And now you're looking at her from the side. If you want to see Suzanne from the top, you press 7. And these are all numpad keys. And if you want to see her from the camera, you press 0. So, Front, one, three is right, seven is top, zero is camera. Now how about if I want to see the opposite? Let's say I want to look directly at the back. Control, one. Control, three is left. And control, control seven is bottom. You can also orbit and pan without the mouse. Um, four, and this is on the numpad. These are all numpad keys. Four will orbit left. Six will orbit right. Eight will orbit up. And two will orbit down. You can also use these four keys on the numpad um, to pan or to translate and all you have to do is press down the control key and then 4 translates left 6 translates right 8 translates up and 2 translates down these are the basics of navigating in blender space so go ahead and just orbit around and play with the different things I've shown you and just get a feel for the blender space 
and in my next tutorial I'll go ahead and show you how to move objects. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.